Guys, I think I just found the Premiere Pro killer. It's a free editing software called CapCut, and no, this is not sponsored. I have no affiliation. It's just, this is like the best video editing software I've ever used for multiple reasons. And I actually don't even use Premiere Pro anymore for my editing because of this. The thing I love most about this is that it's 100% free. There's no watermark. There's no, there's not even a paid version, I don't think, which is really hard to come by these days. And not only that, it literally comes with so many presets that Premiere Pro doesn't even have. That makes editing so much easier. And honestly, doing this stuff in Premiere Pro would be a lot harder. So I'm gonna walk you through just how to make, how to edit some videos just like quickly. And um, if you guys wanna see more detailed tutorials on this, let me know. I have a decent amount of experience on this. And you know what's even better? This is not only on PC, but it's also on mobile. So you can edit on your phone or your computer. And honestly, it's weird because I feel like the mobile version is actually better. Well, I guess it has more features on mobile, but I feel like editing on PC is obviously a lot smoother, but both are really good. They didn't tone down the mobile version at all or anything, uh, but I'm just gonna walk you guys through a few different things you can do with this software. So first off, you're gonna wanna download it. So let me walk you guys through that. All right, so if you search up CapCut in Google, you should get some results. I would skip the ad version right here just in case it's a fake and I would go down to here to get to the official. So it should look like this. Get started for free, download for Windows. Just click download for Windows and it should start downloading wherever you choose. So I'm gonna choose on the desktop, hit save. Right here you can see it is currently downloading. Just, you know, wait a few minutes or whatever depending on your Wi-Fi. Okay, download is completed. Now you can either click this one or you can go to your desktop and click on the installer. Well, I already have it installed, so we'll see what it says. Okay, I already have it installed. Agree, install now. Okay, I already have it, so you guys can probably figure it out from there. So I'm just going to delete that, and I'm going to open up CapCut. It should look like this. And on mobile, it's a little bit different. I could maybe do a mobile tutorial, but I'm not sure how that would go, so we'll stick with this for now. So as you can see, it looks a lot like Premiere Pro, and honestly, it's a lot easier to use. So you can see over here, you have the import button. So you can import your media, like pictures, videos, whatever you wanna use in your video, it all goes right here. Over here is the player, and this will basically show you a preview of what your video looks like. Over here, you'll see this is where you can change the effects and you know, mess with all that stuff. Down here is the timelines. This is where you drag in your pictures, your videos, your text, all that. So let's start out with importing. So I'm gonna click import and I'm gonna find it on my device. Okay, so here I am in my videos and you can choose from any of your videos. I'm gonna choose this one. So it's right here. You can see it's a little Guys, box. If you click on it, I think I you just can found see the preview and we are just going to hit add to track. Now you'll see it is currently on the track right now. So this is the video I was just recording. And I'm gonna show you how to do a few things. So first off down here, here's some quick and easy editing things that you can do. So first off undo, which is control Z for most applications. Then there's redo, which is control shift Z. This is probably the most important one. It's split. So basically this splits your clip like this. So you can add clips in between, or you can take that part out if you messed up, whatever you want to do. And then you got a trash can, so that'll delete whatever you have selected. Right here you have freeze, so basically that'll freeze this clip for a little bit of time. So right here, it's the same clip, but it's frozen. You can expand it by holding control and scrolling forward or backward to zoom out. But you can expand this clip by hovering over the edge and holding left click and dragging. So this can just be a still frame for a little bit. And you can shrink it. Right here, you have mirror, so this will mirror the video. I'll show you. So it just flips it. Then you have reverse, which is currently not, it doesn't work with uh, still images, so you'll have to click on your video clip. Click reverse. It'll take a few seconds and it'll basically reverse the video. All right, that took a while for some reason, but it's completed. So you can see here, Fine. it's yeah, my video reversed, reversed and I sound like an alien. So yeah, we'll just 
not do that again over here we got rotate this basically just rotates the video and then you got crops so we can just crop it to where it's only like this part or whatever you want to do so we'll leave it like that and you know how annoying i sound right now i'll show you how to mute that so if you go over to the left you'll see there's a mute clip audio button that'll basically mute every single video on the timeline now what if you don't want to mute everything you just want to mute that one clip well just click on that clip go up here to audio and turn that volume all the way down that's really all you have to do there's a bunch of other effects here for audio as well so if your mic sucks and you got a bunch of background audio just go ahead and click on noise reduction and that might help you um you can even add voice effects to make you sound like uh, a robot an elf deep high so if you have a really high pitched voice and you're self-conscious just click on the deep and you should be satisfied but anyways that's all for the audio now let's say the clip is like uh yeah. it's a good speed right but you're trying to make it like slow motion for a certain clip so let's just say it's like a montage right and you're about to snipe some guy i would click on that part and click split and then split where you want the slow motion to end right so here is this clip all right so you can go up here to speed and you can turn the speed down like really slow or you can speed it up now let me show you how to do a really cool animation or transition so you can see i go from this menu to a full screen one so let's make that look a little bit cooler so if i click on that clip the one before this next one and you might want to make sure it's split too so that you can just select this part go to animation and out and you can choose one of these like that right or you can do a combo which is an intro and outro or you could just do an in with different shakes so I'm gonna do a combo right and then I'm going to click on this next clip and click on the in and do like a shake so it'll look like this right so like it's so easy to do that and in Premiere Pro it'd be a pain so that's the reason right there why I love this you can do that in like five seconds and it looks great so that's all for the transitions obviously like i said i'll do a more in-depth guide if you guys want to see it so i'm just going to skim over some things top left you can see there's more transitions but these are a little bit different you put these in between two clips so let's click on this one then and now and it'll add it to the end of whatever clip you had selected so it'll look like this which looks the same but it's just because i had this animation here so let me just turn that off Right, so it looks like that, and there's a bunch of other options. Okay, so there's a ton of transitions here. We're gonna move on to filters, which this I don't really use, but you can just click on it and it'll add a filter to your video. Make it look like a VHS, there's just a bunch of options. Um, adjustment, I actually don't know what this is, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Effects, I use the effects a lot. So basically, there's tons of different effects you can choose from there's one that makes it look like an old tv with the bouncing dvd video thing if you just click add the track it'll add it or if you just click on the picture it'll just preview it before you actually add it let's just add it you can drag it to make it longer you can do all that stuff there's a ton of options like a crap ton you see here there's just a bunch of different things you can do make it look like a movie like there's just so much next one is stickers and these I don't use but you can add like these little emojis or whatever onto your video or just it even comes with like subscribe and follow um, animations so you don't even have to download those online they're all in here there's so many I swear this sounds like an advertisement but it's not it's just that good that I'm doing a free one so we're gonna move on to text click add to track you'll see some default text you can click on it you can change it up here. Cambit, Cambity. We'll do that. 
and then there's a bunch of font styles so you don't even have to make your own like you could literally just click on it and boom you have your font styles like are you serious like how is it that easy you can go to animation you can animate it um text to speech is cool it'll basically cambody 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 so that's cool if you're like scared of talking because you're like you got a super high pitched voice you just use one of these dudes to talk for you cambody and then you sound like a giga chad so yeah that's text like i said i'm skipping through it i'm sorry you guys want in depth comment down below next one audio this you can add audio from TikTok and stuff if you don't want to download it on your own so we'll just go with peace some lo-fi and it's kind of clipping right here you can see it's like orange so if you want to turn that down if you remember you just turn the volume down okay and that's pretty much going to sum it up uh for this quick tutorial uh, i hope this actually this isn't even quick this is like 10 minutes i think i don't know anyways that's all i got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed it if you did you already know what to do so i'll see you guys in the next one peace